what's up guys? I'm Mel from Fortin, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Fortin plugins in a live show scenario. So you hear jamming in your DAW, or even the Fortin standalone suites, and then you look at your practice amp. Not gonna cut it, right? And you wanna take this tone with you live. So you look at the Fortin amp catalog, and you start eyeing all the amps, then you look at your wallet, then you look at your bank account, then you look at your credit cards, then you start to hate yourself. Well, don't worry, I have a solution for you to take that good old Fortin Cali nameless or NTS suite wherever you go in a live scenario. All right, so to take the Fortin suites wherever you wanna go, whether it is a show or rehearsal, you're going to first need a computer. You probably already have that if you have a plugin, but I recommend using a laptop because for setup and changeover, it's a lot easier to do this with a laptop than setting a desktop at every one of your gigs. Second, you're gonna need an interface. Just basically anything to take in your guitar signal and then to output your guitar signal to what comes next, a power amp. The power amp is going to be used to take place of your head in this situation. My band uses something simple like a power amp that's traditionally used to power PA speakers or you could get something small and compact like the Baby Bomb or Seymour Duncan's Power Stage. So this will be your signal chain. First, you're going to plug your guitar into your interface and then your interface is going to be plugged into your PC as well as outputting into the power amp. The power amp is going to take one channel out into your cab or if you want to dual tone, if it's a stereo power amp, you can take both outputs from your interface, plug them into your power amp and then output them to your cab. So after you've plugged all of this in, you're going to set your DAW or standalone suite to output to the same outputs that you've plugged your power amp into. Plug your power amp into your cab and make sure it's the correct ohmage. And then lastly, you're going to turn off your cab sim in your suite or DAW. Set your power amp volume and you should be good to go. It's genuinely this easy. The power amp takes place of your guitar head and then your interface takes place of your pedal board. And if you want to get spicy with it, you can plug your pedal board into your interface. That way you can still have your stomp box rig. I also highly recommend you grab something like the Fortin Hydra or a MIDI controller that can control your plugin. That way you can still have your effects changes good to go as you're playing. You can see a video that I did on using the Fortin Hydra over here. So after you have all of this set up and have some sound coming out of your rig, I have some tips for you. As I mentioned before, grabbing something like the Fortin Hydra or a MIDI controller can make it easy to change patches on the fly. But if you don't want to go the route of a MIDI controller, you can actually pre-program everything using automation in your DAW. Just drop in your song, drop in the tempo, sync in all your automation changes, and you can get really creative with it. If you're doing this in a DAW, you can get very creative. You have full automation control of almost every parameter in the plugin or plugins externally or going into your plugin. You can automate things like wah, gating, glitches, telephone effects, mods, pitch shifting, or literally anything you can think of automated with a plugin that you own. The band that I play with highly abuses this when we play live. It sounds amazing, it gives us a lot of control of our tone for various sections of songs and allows us to do things that we could not achieve had we tried to do this with a pedal board. For instance, we use gating, we make sure things stop perfectly on time, and we automate all of our swells and effects and our delay timings with automation in our DAW while using the Fortin Cali Suite. I'll show you a couple examples of creative ways that you can use a DAW and your plugin live here. So I hope this video gave you a better idea of how to use plugins in a live scenario and how to get creative with automation and using the automations to create cool effects live. And if this video did help you out, please hit that thumbs up button, ring that bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below on how creative you would get with your automations when you're playing live. All right, I'm Mel from Fortin and I'll catch you on the next one.